Large side-to-side -side differences in front camber can cause unwanted steering forces, which may lead to a pull. When camber is zero, no steering forces are generated from either side. Each wheel should tend to roll straight ahead. But when one wheel is cambered, for example, positive on the right side, it immediately begins rolling to the right. Combine this with the left wheel cambered negative. Now both wheels want to roll to the right, generating even greater steering force. As a rule of thumb, a camber pull will typically direct the vehicle towards the side with the most positive setting. Note the following examples. To prevent camber pull, the manufacturers normally specify the same preferred setting for each side. If camber cannot be set the same on each side, it should be set so the side-to-side -side variance does not exceed the manufacturer's specifications. If a cross camber tolerance is not available, use 0.25 degrees as a rule of thumb. The only exception occurs when the manufacturer specifies different preferred settings for each wheel.